Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Indie on the Rock series where I sit back and relax with a nice drink in hand and take a first look at an interesting indie game that I found online recently. And for today's episode, as you can probably tell from the screen here, we are having a Gander and Winter Flame, the other side, being made by Art and Code, and it is very much currently in prototype, so uh, keep that in mind if there's any wonky little things down the the road in this video. Uh, so yes, there are still a lot of features not exactly in place yet, as it is still very, very much in development. Uh, the game itself is a story-driven uh, 2D side-scrolling, well, hmm, kind of 2.5D, I guess, a puzzle adventure game. And what really hooked me in and interested me about this and why we're looking at it today is the world that it's in and the, the whole narrative and story part of it. I don't know how much of it we'll actually see in this prototype because, well, I mean, it's, it's a prototype. They probably don't have a lot of story elements built in quite yet. Uh, but yes, what, what interested me about that is it's apparently all based off of an existing franchise of books and comics uh, of a world called Vandaria, which personally... I'd never heard of before. I don't know what this Vendaria is, and I'm kind of intrigued to look more into it after reading what I have about this game so far, about the world that you're in. It intrigues me. Uh, you play as a character called, oh, oh god, let me look at my other screen here real quick, uh, Lev, who is apparently the only human living in this magical society, and you're kind of an outcast, and your only friend goes missing one day, and you head into the Forbidden Forest to try and find her and that's what sort of kicks off the whole uh, the, the adventure aspect of the game and it's uh, the whole magical world and you being the only human kind of in this magical society intrigues me so I, I want to learn more about this world hopefully we get to see some of it in the game but again I don't know how much story is in this prototype right now um, but yeah, so let's get going. Now, of course, typically when I start off any of these episodes, I like to look at options because, well, I'm a PC gamer. I like option menus. Oh, uh, we got nothing right now for that. We don't even have menus in the game at the moment. Again, prototype. It is being made in Unity, though, so we do have the standard Unity launcher where you can, uh, you know, choose your generic resolution and generic you know graphic level and yeah, that's suitable for now again prototype but hopefully as development moves along we get some nice uh, UI menus with options because well options are always glorious so let's just uh, press to start and we're in the game now I kind of said 2.5 HD earlier and I uh, I didn't even like saying that. It is 3D, but it is sort of on the 2D plane. We can't move forward and back just left and right. Uh, but it is fully 3D modeled from the looks of things. And this is our character here, Lev. And apparently in the story, uh, his city that he lived in with other humans was attacked, his family was killed, and his uh, he lost his left hand. That's why we have this weird thing on our arm at the moment. It's some sort of magical gauntlet that we can use to, well, shoot magical things. And this is your primary weapon slash tool in this game world. And uh, yeah, we need to use it to solve puzzles, which I'm assuming I need that thing up there. Can I jump up this? No. All right, we probably need to knock that thing down. Shoot it. Shoot the thing. Oh yeah, the metal seems to be bending. That's interesting. Oh yeah, you got like a small little heat effect, the metal's warping, that's cool. I'm assuming that's metal considering, I'm guessing this is fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fire. Uh, I think we have confirmed that it is indeed fire. <laughs> Take that. Okay, so let's warp this metal then, I guess. Can we warp it in more places? Ha. Warp it down there, perhaps? I may have already been beaten by the puzzle of this game. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Can I like jump up? Oh, nope, cannot jump up over there. Jumping seems a bit stiff. The controls themselves, a little bit stiff. The animation still definitely needs some work when moving back and forth, and especially on the jumping, they seem a bit, well, again, prototype. So hopefully those things will be fixed. And I mean, obviously I'm supposed to like bend. The oh, can I like shoot that thing up there? 
Ah, yes, ricocheted, and then that thing burns. Okay, there we are. Now, move. There we go. Oh, God, where do I have to shoot it? Come on, keep bending. Okay, there we go. I had to work my way down the metal thing. All right, let's move up there. Can we shoot you? No. I am liking the music, though. Sound effects are good, too. Nice little footsteps there at the moment. The fire sound of this shooting out of the gauntlet. Eh, it could use some work, but, you know, serviceable. So let's see. Can we use this to light our way? Oh, no, no, we've zoomed in. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to keep moving forward, then. And... Different world. Okay, we have magical glowing stones. Interesting. I still have my fire. Oh, I'm gonna have to like weight weight this down or something. Interesting. Okay, so I'm assuming. First off, let's budge this budge this down. I said budge it down. Well, I want to go back down. Hmm. All right. Well, let's shoot this thing. So that tips. Okay, 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 okay. And then, oh, my character seems to be stuck in a jumping animation. <laughs> All right, this thing no longer wants to move. Ha. Huh. All right, let's reset. Oh, nope, it moved just as I went to reset. <laughs> Again, prototype things are bound to be buggy. And I guess I should probably also talk about a few more things about the game at the moment. Uh, the final game, I believe, is supposed to have five different worlds. Oh, it went down again. Ha. Oh, but yes, the final game will have five different worlds with, uh, or chapters, taking place in five different unique environments. Uh, so you'll have some variety there, all telling a story of, uh, you know, going along with this uh, Lev's journey. Oh god, I gotta get back up here. Oop, there we go. And quick, quick, quick. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have to... Ooh, ooh, oh my. Interesting. That lit on fire. <laughs> kind of exploded. Can I sprint? No. I seem to need something to weigh down the other end, because I can't get to the other end of this bone quick enough. Oh, I fell again. Can I budge any of these with the... with the weapon? No. Interesting. Let's jump. Fall back down. The bone is stuck again. <laughs> and my guy gets stuck in a jumping animation. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now I'm intrigued how in the world we're supposed to be doing this one. Because, yeah, I gotta make it up there. Can we, like, bend that back down or something? Oh. Well, we can bend it even more up. Because, yeah, I can't seem to... I don't have enough time to walk across there. You, what are you? <laughs> Nothing of use. I can kind of shoot that a bit. Oh, boy. Yeah, that pivot point doesn't seem to work so well. <laughs> Oh god, I'm only on like puzzle two when I seem to be a bit stuck at the moment. Uh, which could be, uh, you know, the whole point of it being a prototype, or also just could be my, me, well, me being inept, quite frankly. Come on. Go down, pivot. There we go. Okay, so. I need something to weigh this down. Can I shoot the ceiling? No. Ah, and it goes back up, too, and I can't seem to pick any of these up. Interesting. Interesting. Let's jump back again. Who? Nope. Oh, darn. Okay, yeah. It's going to be an issue for me, I feel. <laughs> and jump. Nope, 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 nope. That's not working still. <laughs> oh, I wonder... Can we, like, shoot this? Does that have anything it does if I shoot here? No. No. And I seem to be slowly sliding back this way. Oh. Okay, go, 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 go. No. Oh, darn. Okay. Can't I? I don't seem to be able to interact with anything other than 
I'm doing what I can do with the shooting and the jumping and the moving. I don't seem to be able to pick up anything. But I... Uh, this thing intrigues me. I feel like it needs to be doing something. I don't know why, but I feel like it should be doing something. Oh my. Yeah, what's getting me here is I need something to hold this back. I'm just not seeing anything that'll do it at the moment. Which, granted, I wish it would get stuck like this when I have this end down. This pivot point definitely doesn't seem to like functioning properly. Come on. There we go. No. Oh, there we go. It seems to it always pivot nicely when you go that way, but not always on that direction. Hmm. Hmm. No, jumping isn't going to work. Let's let's reload again and take a look at it before I start shooting things. Okay, so. Move this here. Oh, that that thing on the ground was part of that that exploded. Okay, okay. Note to self. I wonder Will that help me in any way? <laughs> I'm guessing no. Nope, nope, that thing just seems to stay as slag on the ground. Well. Okay, now I see I can I can move this thing around a bit, but I don't know if that will help me in any way, shape, or form. No, because I can't really reach it over... Ooh, no, 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 that doesn't seem like it would help me being able to rock it. Who? Nope, darn. <laughs> huh. I'm going to pause the video here real quick and see if I can figure how to do this freaking thing. Because this is bothering me. Hmm, yes, Hold, give me one moment. Okay, so I just reset this area. I think I figured it out. I realized after messing around with it for a while that that uh, that this cube, the slag that it creates could be our weight. And that since we could move around this platform by shooting it, I'm thinking we shoot there to tip that. Yes, that worked. Excellent. Perfect. And then if we like shoot straight up here to try and budget in the direction we want, Yes, 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 it worked. Holy crap, it worked. <laughs> okay, no, come on, move this way. Excellent, it is physics. Okay, 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 okay. Will that hold? No, no, no. Okay, so let's keep it sliding down for a moment because we are slowly sliding. I'm hoping that the slag, once we shoot it, well, I don't know, maybe solidify it here. Okay, let's shoot it now. I said, now, there we go. Ha! Ah, no. Blast. <laughs> it was such a wonderful plan. Why? Why doesn't it work? <laughs> and it's still getting stuck in the ground down there. Oh my god, you have like a bit of metal slag on you now. How are you not weighed down? This, this makes no sense to me. In fact, you now seem to be permanently stuck up in this position. Oh god, I thought I was so clever. <laughs> Maybe it needs to stay in that uh, box form? Huh. That probably would help if this thing would move again. Okay, there we go. Come on, stay. Nope, 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 it doesn't stay. Okay, let's reset it. <laughs> Yet a freaking again. I've spent way too much time on this. You, you have no idea how long I was paused for. Way too long, that's how long. Okay, so let's slide it up. There we go, make sure it's nice and bent backwards. Then keep shooting this thing till it budges downwards. Come on. Slide, you fool. Slide off. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. I need it on the thing. On the thing. Oh. Ooh, or maybe not. Or maybe no. Oh, God, I'm stuck behind it now. I have a new plan. I have a new plan. Let's reset again. I kind of screwed myself. <laughs> Oh, damn you puzzle games. Oh, God, and damn the controls on this. They really need to work on tightening the controls. I it It's just kind of wonky how he jumps. 
it's it's very hard to tell when exactly you should be jumping each time. Alright, so there we go. Move that up. Excellent. Bunch that backwards. Come on, keep it moving. There we go, keep coming down. Oh my god, why is this not... Oh, almost! There we go, okay, 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 okay. So let's move it there. Can we jump on top of it? Aha! New plan. I'm gonna move it down here. Then get up on this thing. Oh, oh god. Come on. Why? Why Why do you always get stuck here? <laughs> oh god, I was hoping I could... Oh, no, no, I can't. Oh, hold. Oh, hold on. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's shoot this thing up. Ha! Nope, nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay. I don't think this is how it was intended to be done, but I, it, it almost works. No, I think this is ever so slightly too high. Yep, slightly too high. Damn it! <laughs> See, it seems like it should work, that that's what we need to do. But it doesn't actually seem to be weighing down the other side of this damnable bone. And yet, if I... Let's <laughs> even have it slightly go down that way. It easily gets stuck. So definitely some things they need to fix with the physics there. Alright, that's nicely wrapped up. Let's try shooting this thing down again. No, 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 no. Okay, excellent. Didn't fall. There we go. Come on. Come on. You should be being weighed down by this. Why are you... Well, you're on... You're doing that thing again, aren't you? Yes, yes. You're stuck down there. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, and it fell off. Okay, I think this puzzle may have beaten me. <laughs> We're on the second freaking puzzle and it's done this to me. I think mainly because in this demo the physics are a bit wonky. Especially with the pivot of this bone thing here. It'll go down here, but then, you know, gets stuck over here. And that big block doesn't actually seem to have any noticeable weight. Which is interesting. As I can shoot it as much as I want here. And then when it gets onto the bone... It doesn't actually go anywhere. It doesn't add any weight to the other side of this. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, it did! <laughs> okay, you just need to do it more quickly then. Oh, oh, we've been zoomed in yet again. We're bowing. Oh, oh, that's the end. Oh, no wonder that uh, that one was a pain. <laughs> so that is the end of the, the demo there for the Kickstarter project. Uh, so just a small little short look at the puzzle and uh, the puzzles in the game the look of the graphics I gotta say I do actually like the art style the characters look glorious uh, The background art style very good very fitting. I think I definitely need some more work on the particles for that gauntlet thing he uses and Definitely got to tighten up the controls dear god the the character moves very sluggishly and is kind of a pain when jumping And if you're gonna have a platformer you gotta tighten up the jumping controls uh, But yeah, it's an interesting little game I was really hoping we'd at least see a little bit of the story in this demo, but apparently not But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look up this whole Vandaria Franchise because it seems interesting from what I've seen on the Kickstarter uh, but yeah, if you would like to check out uh, this short little demo of two puzzles, oh boy, I did not know it was going to be that short. <laughs> See, that's the problem when I go into these things as a first look. I'm looking at it for the first time as well, so I don't know if it's too damn short. Uh, but yes, if you would like to check it out, follow the links in the description, uh, and you can learn more about the game there. They've got some videos and pictures on there. Looks very cool, and if you do want to throw your support behind them, uh, you know, do so. Uh, but I hope you have enjoyed this episode today, and of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, uh, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. <laughs>